There's a sense in which everything that's cursed <coughs> or contaminated, everything that's contaminated must be removed. What's contaminated cannot be improved in God's economy. It can't be recovered. It can't be renewed. There we, therefore we read about the heavens and the earth that now is and the new heavens and the new earth are going to replace it. Presently, we have a house not made with hands. But we have a, a um, tabernacle, earthly tabernacle, that's going to be replaced yeah. by a house not made with hands. Yeah. It, it's got to go. Man's essential person mm -hmm. must be born again. Right. Flesh and blood and everything that goes along with it cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Flesh, by de flesh and blood, by definition, is what God created in the Garden of Eden. It has to be a new thing made. Yeah. Now, this is, a, this is an important principle to see. Reformation is a purely human concept. Yeah. God's not in the business of reformation. Mm -hmm. There have been the religious reformations that have brought incalculable good to the God's people, but they never really changed what they set out to reform. Mm -hmm. Luther sought to reform Catholicism. He had noble ambitions, mm -hmm. but he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. and many other reformers. John Calvin sought to reform the Anglican religion and didn't do it. Alexander Campbell tried to reform the more up-to-date fundamentalist, namely in the Baptist camp, which was more general in those days. It didn't work. Reformation doesn't work, never has worked. People that try and reform people's morals, they have to be constantly reforming. If they let them go, if they miss the meetings, they don't come, they lapse back. We have the old man that commenced at the point there was a new man. There was no such thing as an old man until the new man. Right. The new is what makes the old, old. Right. As the old man, mm -hmm. he's got, you can't, you can't change him. Mm -hmm. He's got to go. So then we have a new man yeah. <clears throat> that for a while, by divine design, they lived together for a while to tutor and strengthen and this sort of thing, but eventually, in the end, only one of them can exist. Amen. You got the old covenant. He was weak through the flesh, not on his own accord. He couldn't last. People that try and go back to that are very foolish people, even though they have doctorate degrees. It has to go. Why? Because there's a new, there's a new covenant. See, this is a principle woven throughout Scripture. That the whatever's contaminated <clears throat> has to go. So you die daily. You just don't change habits. People think people were being a little, little hard, attacking, and I personally am attacking it attacking the idea of forming new habits. Mm -hmm. This is not this is not a godly thought. Amen. They have to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. The old man has to die. Flesh has to die. Amen. It has to die. Yes. 
It cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. You can't clean up a dirty thought. Can't be done. Now our text proclaims the world, which is the mother of everything that's passing away. <clears throat> everything that's passing away is tied to the world in some, some way. And our text said that Jesus has delivered us. He has delivered us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. The world is called evil even though it hasn't sinned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the only thing that hasn't sinned mm -hmm. that is evil, but it hasn't sinned. It's, yeah. it's received a stain mm -hmm. from those that occupied it, and it was only two people at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This vast globe yeah. was only occupied by two people. And, and it was covered as much space as it does now, but it was a l more infinitely more living space than it is now. And yet these two people brought forth a curse of the entire earth, the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars, the universe, the cosmos, the worlds, plural. They had to go. Why? Because in God's economy, a clean thing cannot be sustained in an unclean environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not ultimately. Mm -hmm. And the other way around, an unclean thing cannot subsist in a clean environment. Mm -hmm. They can't, they, they, they appear simultaneous for a while, mm -hmm. but that's just so people will learn yes. that they can't be united. That's why it's so wrong for a professing Christian to think like the world. Yeah. This is a lot worse than people think it is. Amen. It's why it's so wrong for a professing Christian to abandon activities that culture the soul for activities that please the flesh. This Amen. is why this is so long, e wrong. Even though the activities may not be moral, immoral of themselves, in fact, they may be rather cultured. But they're still wrong if they dictate how a person lives and what they give their time to, what they invest most themselves in. Uh -huh. This is why I applaud some of the great hymnists of old who were quite gifted people, yeah. but they gave themselves, they gave themselves to the higher interest. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. People that have abilities, mm -hmm. yes. talents, mm -hmm. and they are Christians, and they give them to the world, it's not going to go well on the day of judgment. There may be a lot, there may be a lot now of, of defense of this kind of thing, saying, well, we'll make a good, better living, and so forth and so forth, but unless God doesn't give people gifts for this world. Amen. Amen any gifts for this world. Amen. Deliverance from the <clears throat> from the domain called the world, the habitat called the world. That's why Jesus gave himself as a sacrifice to God. This is one view of this. He gave himself for sin. Here's another. You turn, turn the diamond... Uh, to another a little degree or two and this perspective pops up that he died because you couldn't get free from this world unless he did yeah. Jesus died to deliver us from this present evil world so <laughs> a person who chooses to wed themselves to this world while wearing Christ's name has in fact crucified Christ afresh Amen. and put him to an open shame Otherwise, this verse doesn't make any sense right. at all. It would make just as much sin to go back into adultery and fornication and drunkenness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as it would to servitude to the world in any form. Mm -hmm. Died to deliver us from this present evil world. 
Now, how do, exactly how does all this fit together? Well, the world <clears throat> is united, irrevocably united with this, things called lusts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The world, they go with the world. Wherever it goes, these go along with it. John said, now, brethren, love not the world. Don't. Mm -hmm. I believe it was John Bunyan who made this statement. You can tell how close a man is to God by how much he shudders at the sound of the word world. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. That'll tell the story. I'll tell how sensitive a person is. Love not the world. Mm. That's the habitat. Neither the things that are in the world... Things you, you can take, get hold of. For all that is in the world mm -hmm. are some intangible things. Mm -hmm. The lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life are not of the Father, right. but of the world. Mm -hmm. And the world passes away mm -hmm. and the lust thereof. Amen. I don't know where to put this. It travels together. The world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Father abideth forever. John also says in that passage that whoever loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If he claims to be a Christian, he's pretending. Or she's pretending. Mm -hmm. This isn't true. This isn't true. That's right. If they shape their life for this world, mm -hmm. the associations of this world, mm -hmm. the possessions of this world, mm -hmm. the direction of this world, and they say they're a Christian, they're not telling the truth, mm -hmm. even though they think, think they are. Right. If any man love the world, mm -hmm. he doesn't love God. Amen. Amen. Right. Period. Amen. And I'll be right up front with you. God doesn't love him. Amen. There are some people God detests. Mm -hmm. And you're living in his world that he's going to change. Yeah. Nobody has a right to give themselves to something God's pledged to destroy. Yes. Amen. No one has a right to do that. Now, the deliverance from this world that we're not to love, that it carries with it the lust of the flesh, fleshly appetites that have to do with the body, mm -hmm. and the lust of the eye, that's covetous, covetous type things, and the pride of life, wanting to be number one, wanting to rise, wanting to be noticed. What, there's just a lot of ways to look at it. This deliverance from that whole system was according to the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what something God, I don't, this is something God willed. Yeah. You want anything to do with God, anything at all. You want a prayer answered by God. You want favor with God. You want healing from God. You want a job from God. You want a wife or a husband from God or whatever, you had better shake yourself free from this world. Because Amen. Amen. God's not about to bless people that prefer what he's said to be delivered from yeah. uh -huh. to prefer people like that. Yeah. I know that that's a little bit hard, but it does have to be said because we live in a very loose age and the church is like drop the ball it's like the church is like a infectious wart sitting on humanity Amen. it's a disgrace and a reproach to god god showed it to john he said like it's like a whore i know that's a strong word but sometimes it needs to be resurrected